has also been selected as the commander of the s g s thirteen crew will be which will be the first mission to recover an ailing spacecraft from orbit the solar maximum mission the countdown very very smooth the crew comes out led by commander bob crippen john fabian the tallest of the group once quite worried that he was just too tall to be an astronaut uh, with the roomier spacecraft that's not a problem uh, Dr. Norman Thagard bringing up the, uh, the rear has the distinction of being the first medical doctor to fly into space. T minus 35 seconds. We're just a few seconds away from switching command to the onboard computers. We've gone for auto sequence start. T minus 25 seconds and counting. The sequencer on board now controlling the final seconds. T minus 17 seconds and counting. The body flap and speed brake are in launch position. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. We go for main engine start. We have main engine start and ignition and liftoff. Liftoff of STS 7 and America's first woman astronaut. And the shuttle has cleared the tower. Roger your roll, Challenger. Houston now controlling. Mission control confirms roll maneuver starting. Ground time on OS channel 217 2 20 seconds. Rust looks good. 25 seconds, roll maneuver completed. 30 seconds, Challenger now 1 nautical mile in altitude. Throttling engines down now to 75% of the program. 40 seconds, the Challenger now two and a half nautical miles in altitude. 45 seconds, Challenger now three nautical miles in altitude. 50 seconds coming up now and create a maximum aerodynamic pressure on the vehicle. 55 seconds, Challenger four and a half nautical miles in altitude. Mark one minute. Pass through Max Q, still looking good. Throttle and engine back to 104 percent. Give it a go at throttle up. shut down. 